ladies and gentlemen, from the four corners of the world to the four corners of this ring, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Boxing, boxing storm. Best store in Europe. Boxing gloves, boxing shoes, shorts, anything boxing. Just started up a Muay Thai line, mixed martial arts, MMA, anything combat wise. They've got it all, so shop online or in store. Champs Boxing Store is your people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching or listening to this, and welcome to another episode of Behind the Bell, proudly sponsored by Champs Boxing Boxing Store. And now today, we're here at the home of Behind the Bell. Hi, <laughs> and we're here with Matt. Hi, Matt, how you doing? Hey, Dan, you alright? Um, so, last week, you announced your retirement from the sport of boxing. Why did you have to make that announcement? Um, to be honest, health isn't great. Um, people that see me, people that know me, know the proper reasons. Um, I just can't barely walk anymore, Lee. And um, I just, I believe if I'm, if I'm going to teach, then I need to be firing on all cylinders. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and if I can't, then I'm not going to get the best out of, out of the fighters and, and help their safety. Um, therefore, I've had no choice, and it, it's a massive kick in the you know what, <laughs> but it's what has, has to be done. But people that are around this area and, and that know me, there is a lot of other great coaches out there. Um, if you if you want to get into boxing, no matter what level, um, if, if you if you want to fight, if you don't want to fight, you just want to learn it. There's drop us a message, uh, and I will help you out with the training. Now I know because us doing this like for the last six or seven weeks, this has been something you've been toying with for so long. Why do you feel like now's the right time? The time to retire. Time, well, time to retire. Time to let everyone know. I was obviously I've been in and out of hospital, hospital appointments, doctors' appointments, loads of doctors' appointments, driving mad. Um, <laughs> And like every time I used to phone you, you'd be like, yeah, I've just got to go to this appointment. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I was hoping, what the problems I've got is degenerative. They're not going to get any better. So I was hoping if they kept me out of pain and I could walk a little bit, then I, should, I would be all right. So I was sort of holding on, holding on, holding on, getting messages every day going, oh, like, are you about, and, and I was letting them go, putting them off, putting them off, going, I'll let you know, I'll let you know, I'll let you know. And then it just come to that time on Friday that it was, it was, to be honest, I didn't want to keep letting everyone down. So instead of keep letting them down, keep believing that I'm going to, I'll be all right to do it, then I'm just getting myself deluded. You know what I mean? It's for my own mental health. I've got other battles now and I need to I need to focus on that, spend time with family, do things that while I can and now's the right time to do it, mate. And do you feel like I wait sort of with lifting off your shoulders now you let anyone know because as you said you're not letting anyone down anymore. Yeah. Um But you still come to terms with it a bit. Yeah, I'm still coming to terms with it a little bit. It's it's a very bitter pill to swallow because really that's all I ever know. Yeah. Um I'm still gonna be a fan, still gonna be doing this, still gonna be Going to the boxing shows, um, still love the sport. It's helped me so much with my life. But the and a lot of boxers struggle with this. That you need to listen to your body, and if your body's saying enough is enough, go with it. Like because if you don't, and you're only gonna you're only gonna make things worse. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've got another appointment coming up soon. Um, scans, things like that. Um, but yeah, if anyone sees me out and about, I'll be going along with my little mobility scooter <laughs> and uh, come and say hello. Do you know what I mean? Talk about boxing. I love. I still love the sport. I'm going next week to uh, to Savannah Marshall West Clarissa Shields. Um, yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I'm, I'm still about. Just, just the time to hang, hang the. Gloves and pads up. Yeah. Well, I know personally because we met through boxing, yeah. 
Um, I'd like to thank for the input you put in with me. I know there'd be many other people out there who want to thank for support you gave them. Yeah, no, I, I, I appreciate it. Listen, it was, it was a really, really massive roller coaster. Um, thanks to our very own Archie and, um, and, and the others, I've reached and, and trained a couple of the, the elite out there. Um, learned so much of them um, to pass on to you guys. Do you know what I mean? And, and be, also being a coach, you're not only a coach, you're a social worker, you're, you're a shoulder to cry on. You're, you're, you, sometimes you're, you're a sitting target if someone loses their rank. Like, you, it, it helps everyone in some kind of way. And believe me, there is some great coaches out there that will do the exact same as me. Um, we're all in it for that. We don't get paid loads of money. No. You know what I mean? We don't get, we don't, I'm certainly not a millionaire. Um, I wish I was. Um, but listen, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed the journey. There was there was loads of ups, there was loads of downs. Do you know what I mean? And sometimes the downs out, outweigh the ups. Do you know what I mean? So it just but you got to go with it, guys. Like I, I don't know if you've seen my po podcast on no identity with Lee. Um, like I said, if you want to pursue something and um, just chase your dreams. Do you know what I mean? Like just chase. Chase what you got to do and what, what you want to do. No one can tell you any different but you. So, and that was the exact same as me. I like even even today, like people still and people that are, that was so close to me. You know what I mean? Like they've done the same thing. Like they, they still do it. But have have they done what I've done? Have they done what? Have they been that one percent that have, have that have taken beatings, that have give beatings, that have that have that are up to one two o'clock in the morning with with oh, 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 their friends, they're not clients, and they're, and they're struggling. Do you know what I mean? And I'm and I'm on the end of the phone. I'm meeting up with them at one two o'clock in the morning when my family's at home and in bed. Do you know what I mean? Like have have these people that hate you done that? That's no, true. <laughs> Like, and I'm I'm proud of where I what I've done what I what I've come what I've come through, and just just keep chasing your dreams. Keep like I'm gonna try other other ventures now. Um, probably out of boxing to be to be fair. Um, if I can't do what I want to do, then I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. Um, so, but I'm still gonna be a fan. Still gonna be a part. Still gonna be going to the shows. Um, yeah, if anyone sees me, come say that. And still going to be uh, bringing your insight for me really before we do this because like, I ain't got a clue sometimes what's going on, so uh, I need you. So, boxing's last is, is our game, really. So, so yeah. thank you for everything. No worries, thank you very much, guys. And, guys, whoever, whoever I've worked with, um, you have been a part of the journey, whoever I've, I've, I've opposed. You've been a massive part of the journey too, without you, without opponents and, um, and, and fighters, when nothing is possible. So you're a massive part. Massive thanks to Scott Stribling. Um, without him, I would be in the fight game. Definitely not. Um, thank you to friends and family. And yeah, just listen. The, the, the professional boxing is getting getting better. Um, and yeah, just, just go, go, and, go and follow it if you need any help with boxing and finding coaches um, in the UK, in our area, which is Greenwich. Um, yeah, come and uh, message us and I will, I will help you personally. Right, well, enough of the soppy stuff. It's fight <laughs> week. <laughs> yeah. It's fight week, Conor Ben, New Bank Junior. Looking forward to it. Yes, mate, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not budging off the, off the verdict. Um, it's getting close now. I see Eubank Senior still trying to boycott it. Um, I can understand it. I can understand it because weight classes are there for a reason and that's a fight of safety. Explain the situation because I don't get... Because obviously Eubank keeps saying it'll only come in at 60%, so I know they've got to reach a certain weight and then a, a, a hydration clause. What does all that mean? What's Explain the situation. So basically... Around. So basically, you're losing, you're you're dieting. 
coming in at 60%, excuse my French, is bullshit. Yeah, that's mind games, or try and play mind games with Connor. He ain't gonna come in at 60%, he's gotta come in at 100%. Connor is a very dangerous man. Yeah. Um, the hydration clause, so basically, on the day of the weigh-ins, which on professional boxing is the day before. It's like be Friday. It'll be, it'll be the Friday. They will lose a certain amount of water weight. Yeah, to, to make sure they're on that way. So they'll be dieting through the through the camp and then if that last little couple of kilos um, they will lose on water weight, which is very dangerous. It is a very dangerous thing to do. Been there, so, done it, got the t-shirt. So do you actually dehydrate yourself to yes. lose that? Yes. Okay. Um, it's a very dangerous thing to do, would not recommend it. Um, so the rehydration clause is that if you, you can drink gallons, gallons and gallons of water and actually be heavier than what you come into. Yeah, so what you come in a fight to, and you rehydrate, you eat, and, and they won't be eating Friday until after the way in. So, yeah, so that that is the that is the rehydration clause. So you bet not allowed to rehydrate after the way in. It will be allowed to rehydrate, but at a... Uh, there's a set limit. Uh, a set limit, yeah, I don't know what the set limit is, but that's what I'm sort of... Gathering, what? gathering and what's going on there. Um, this every fighter does it. I've been there and done it. Like I've, I used to fight about 90, 95 kilo. Um, so I used to, on the day, I used to eat until the weigh-in. And then uh, after the weigh-in, drink loads of, loads of water, um, carbohydrate. And I'm back up to like 96, 97 kilo. So, yeah, that's... We all do it. We all do that. Okay. Uh, what dangers does Connor pose against you, Bank? I I think Connor is is too aggressive for for, for Chris. I think um, the people that he has fought have actually stood off him um, and not been rough, ready, getting in, getting nasty. Um, the only person that did stand off him and still beat him was Billy Joe. Um, which he's just a phenomenal boxer anyway, he's a great boxer. Um, yeah, I just like a lot of his a lot of his fighters, a lot of his opponents ain't really like I just stood off him, but Connor won't. Connor will go in, he'll put he'll, he'll bite down on the gum shields and he'll he'll be uh, he'll be very aggressive. Do you think Connor needs to knock him out to win or do you think Connor could win on a decision if I can't see it going the whole way. I can't see it going the whole way. Someone's going to get sparked. Um, and you think Eubank will be? <laughs> I think, oh, no, I think Eubank will just on pure aggression. I think Early or late, though? I'd say mid. mid. Oh, I'd yeah. say mid. Um, but listen, like Connor's, Connor's fought ex world champs. You know what I mean? And put him away in the first to third round. So anything, this is yeah, and that's the beautiful part of boxing. Anything can happen. One punch. So one one punch can change your life, let alone change your <laughs> change your change your uh, way of, of the fight, what the ways of fights go. And so. um, what do you think Eubank could threat to Connor? I know you're pro Connor, but he's doing yeah. Eubank could do that, could upset Connor. Listen, he's he ain't a, he's a good boxer. He, he's a good boxer. Um, I think, I think he's on the underhand already, with all this crap that's going on with, with his dad. Do you reckon this is part of the mind games with his dad though? Possibly. Because the new banks are good at mind games, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, mind games. Um, possibly, but I was reading this morning, like, seniors still going, I'll oh, boycott it, I do, you can't do it, I've already lost one son, I don't want to lose another. So, even if that is a mind game, that's probably still going to play in Connor's head. Yeah. Uh, Chris's head, sorry. Because on Good Morning Britain on last Friday, when they asked him, seeing you be there, Bank replied, we're working on it, but how can you miss it? So I think he's, I think he's real. I think he's even not 100% sure if that's going to, if that's going to. That can be, that can play a massive part in your career, believe me. So, yeah, like I think I think Chris is on the underhand. Um, listen, Nigel's Nigel's with with Connor the whole way. Yeah. I don't know if you see it the other day, but it was Connor's birthday, and um, Nigel bought out cake, 
Connor and I can't eat that. So as Nigel's turned away, Connor's smacked it in his face. I was cracking up laughing. Um, but yeah, that camp seems to be buzzing. Let's see if he's got some good sparring in there. I know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be interesting, um, and a and a fight to remember, a fight for history. No, definitely. I don't think I saw any of the Ben Eubanks fights from the past, but what I've heard, they were cracking. Yeah, they were absolute barnstormers. So was, was, obviously Eubank come on top there. Yeah. So um, I can't see. I can't see neither outcome than Connor. Who do you think wants it more, Connor or Nigel? Connor. Connor wants it more than Nigel. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, he wants. He's he's repping the family name. So he's that's gonna that's playing a massive part for him. He's repping the family name. He wants to right that wrong for his old man. Do you know what I mean? So it, it's gonna be a great fight. Really looking forward to it. Definitely get the same guy in and uh, <laughs> and watch him out. So Shane Courtney's back in the ring. Bit of fight up. Yep. Yeah. Um, going to the fair up. Yeah, we'll see. There might be a little bit of ring rust there. I like Shannon. I, I, I like Shannon. Um, great, uh, great boxer. Um, had quite a few injuries past year. Um, no, I, I, I reckon it should be all right. Um, might have been nice to have a tune-up fight beforehand, but. We'll see, but I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to watching Shannon as well. I like watching Shannon. Uh, she had an absolute war with Ebony. Obviously, I'm pro Ebony. I love Ebony. So, um, Especially when you met her in the flesh. Oh, mate. Do you know what? She's one lovely lady. She's, Ebony is, is lovely. Um, yeah, no, she's, she's really good. She's really good. But yeah, no, Shannon. Wish Shannon well. And um, she gets at the other side. She's still a world champion. So, yeah, just... Go and base her skills and go and show what she's missed out on this year. Um, if you've got an opinion about the up and coming fight, we will be going live on Instagram on Friday, probably between 7 and 9. We haven't quite worked out a time yet, have we? But we'll let people Whatever. know. <laughs> yeah. So please jump on board. We did go live last week and we had a, a fantastic time um, hearing from your guys and you, your guys' opinions. So please join us on Friday um, for your opinions on Instagram. Uh, we can't go another week by without talking about the AJ Fury situation. Oh, I'm banging my head against the brick wall. <laughs> yeah, we're um, recording this at the beginning of the week, so at the moment there's still no information other than what we knew last week, but it's pretty much dead in the water now, isn't it? The timing yeah, for camp and stuff. I just, yeah, I, I can't see it happening. Um, do you think it's a promotional and management's fault, or do you think it is a boxer's fault? Why it's, it's not gone ahead? Don't know. Really don't know. It could be. It could be both of them. Both of them situations. It um, does seem like. Um, I know videos, are videos, but from what AJ was pointing out, out, he was up for it. It does seem like he's being held back by Ivy's management team with promotion. Do you think that's to save his career in the future? Because this is a too early fight for AJ after coming off the two losses. Listen, I, if you if you want to be world level, then you've got to expect that. You've got to expect that not that you're not going to have an easy fight after a loss. If you want to be an absolute A star elite, then you're going to have hard fights. Um, yeah, I agree. Maybe he does need a little tune up, yeah. but who's out there to give him that tune up? There's no point fighting fighting. I oh, wouldn't mind actually seeing Joshua first, first choice yeah, before, yeah, before, before before Tyson Fury, but I I can't see Joshua winning that. No, I can't see Joshua winning that. Yeah, Joshua Joshua's got the speed for for Joyce, but but they're both very similar. They're both very robotic. They're both very static. There is no really any good head movement or anything like that, which is basic heavyweight really, but. Like, if you want to have something that the others don't, then you need your movement and your and your head and your head keep moving. But Joshua don't seem to do that. Um, the only time I did see him do that is against Ruiz on the second fight. But he's all about to box with his life. That was a clear, a clear <laughs> fight. Yeah. It does seem like if he's backed right up against the wall, he can get himself out of it. But yeah, but I finished that pure brute. Yeah. You know what I mean, like there is a, the, 
I can't see the skill no. on right. It was joyous. He's very slow. Yeah, but there is absolutely if I punch a cone in that yard, there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I can't see Joshua winning that against Joyce. I I personally think that Joshua should now go into management. If yeah. if 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 he can't get if he can't get Fury or Joyce, then maybe go and go into management because I know he's been he's dad his hand into it. He's got a couple of uh, yeah. clients as well. Yeah. It's a bit like why he's been there. Yeah. He's got some people yeah. that he manages yeah. and then still fight. Yeah. Um, because he's come off his two losses and he ain't a world champion, by the sounds of what's been going on, they're saying they're not treating AJ with respect to what he deserves. Do you think he's got the right to, to sort of demand to be a, a, a like a 50-50 in the situation? Because I think the 60-40 is generous. There's the 50-50 VMAX clause. Tyson's agreed co-promotion. Tyson's agreed transparency. But he still doesn't. So do you think it's because AJ feels like he deserves more than what he's being offered. Let me ask you this question. Has AJ got any belts? No, exactly. That's so therefore, no, he, he doesn't. And he's not even he a mandatory. No, he's not even a mandatory. So he doesn't deserve the, the, the demand. He doesn't deserve to be to demand that he wants more money. No, yeah, Fury's got, Fury's got the belts. It's a very generous offer by Fury. Therefore, you're on, the, you're on the lower purse. And do you think AJ feels entitled because of the corporate, he's a corporate guy now and because he's had sponsors chuck money at him and match him telling how great he is and design and say we want you to lead our, our streaming platform. Do you think he feels entitled and he should be the A-side no matter what, whatever fight he has? Maybe, but that's just his confidence. Yeah. But if you look at things realistically, no. You haven't got any belts. You 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 can't offer anything other than turning up. Other than, other than turning up. Yeah. So no, he needs to be on the B side. He needs to, maybe that might make him eat a little bit of humble pie. Maybe, but seems to work for a while. Though. He seems yeah, to come back yeah. a lot more humble. Yeah. So um, listen, we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll see what happens now. I can't see Fury Joshua happening. No. Um, and the thing I worry about now is the public response to AJ will be a very negative one because the way he reacted after the music fight by throwing the belts out yeah. of him. Now it, it, we're never no, going to know the full into that. But from what Fury and Frank are saying, it's on AJ's side. The fight's not going to be signed, so people are then going to turn on Joshua while they deny the fans the fight that everyone wants. So I just now worry that where can you go for moving further if this. If this fight doesn't happen, I would imagine like you said to the chat. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's what I can see. Like, he, Josh has got a couple of fights out there. You know what I mean? He has. He, he's got your Wilders. He's got your your Joyces. He's got. Do you think with everything that's happened though, people will still be interested to? Because obviously the fans have got paid for the fights, really. So do you think he can still generate money no matter who he's fighting? Listen, that man's a very clever businessman. Yeah. Right? The, the men, for instance, he's, he's boxing, him being on the zone and, and box offices. And he's a very clever man because if you... A man wants to see him fight... Oh, he's, listen, Joshua's a very good-looking man. <laughs> yeah? And the women will, will also watch you... Because Joshua's a good-looking fella. Yeah, my wife will only watch Joshua and Fury. Yeah. Fury for the belts and how yeah. he is. And yeah. Joshua, because he's British apparently, but yeah. he's not yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I... You still think he'll generate no matter what... what of course he will. If, if he don't anymore, he's still got, he's got money and he's got yeah. enough money anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, like... He, He's, he's a very clever businessman, and Eddie's a very clever businessman at the same time. Um, that pretty much wraps up this week. It does. Yeah. It does, yeah. Well, thank you so much for letting us come to the HQ of Behind the Bell. Probably it's been a real well. pleasure. And remember, please join us on Instagram on Friday. Um, if you can't join us, but you've got any questions or anything you want us to discuss, please just drop us a message on our socials. Take care, everyone. Have a good week. And we'll see you next week. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
from the four corners of the world to the four corners of this ring. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! That's boxing, boxing star. Best store in Europe. Boxing gloves, boxing shoes, shorts, anything boxing. Just started a Muay Thai line, it's martial arts, MMA, anything combat wise. They've got it all, so shop online or in store. Champs Boxing Store is your people.